Okay. So we need to iterate through the player's bullet list now. So for int i equals zero, if i is less than players dot bullet list dot count i plus plus, just a, a basic for loop. Then we're going to do the following. We're going to say if the players bullet list at index i dot bounding box dot intersects um, the enemy's bounding box. Do the following. Player dot bullet list at index i is visible equals false. So destroy the player bullet if it hits the enemy ship. And the enemy dot is visible equals false as well. So uh, for now we're just going to have um, one player bullet destroy the ship. All right. Um, we're not going to have uh we're not going to have the enemies with like 10 health right away. We're just going to make it super easy and the first time we shoot them they're just going to uh go invisible or, you know, remove from the list and be destroyed. All right. So, now that we uh have all our updating done, checking and let me go over this real quick. So, for each enemy in the list, we're going to check if the enemy ship's colliding with player, if the enemy ship's hit ship's hitting our player. Sorry, this is supposed to be PG and I just slipped there. So uh, the player health is going to negate by 40, and the enemy ship's going to get destroyed. If the enemy bullets hit our player ship, we're going to lose 10 health, which is what we set our enemy bullet damage to, and the enemy bullet's going to get destroyed. If the player bullet hits the enemy ship, then we're going to set the player's bullet to false, and the enemy ship to false. So it's going to destroy the player bullet and the enemy ship. Okay? So, um... Let's see, we also need to come down and create some functions. So let's go all the way to the bottom. Notice how we have our load asteroids um, function that we made down here. We need to have a load enemy function. Okay. And I think this is pretty much going to be the same as the asteroids too, except for just changing a few variables. So, uh, and you know what? It is. So what we can do is we're just going to copy this whole load, as load asteroids content just for the sake of uh, the length of the video, okay? So copy the load asteroids function. Come down, paste it. Change the comment to load enemies. Alright? And then what we're going to do here is it says if there are less than five asteroids on the screen, then create more till there's five again. And what we're going to say is if there's less than three enemies on the screen, then create more till there's three again. And just for now, um, obviously what we're going to have happen is like we'll start with, you know, three or a certain number of enemies on the screen. Once all those are dead, you know, we'll advance to level two and a, a larger group of enemies can spawn, you know, with maybe faster bullet uh, speed or something like that. But for now, like I said, I just like to get the template down, the base classes and our setup, and then we can do our cosmetics later. So if there are less than three enemies in the screen, then create more there's three again. So we want to change asteroid list to enemy list. And if the enemy list account is less than three, then we don't want to add a new asteroid list, obviously. Uh, or we don't want to add uh, asteroids, we want to add enemies. So we're going to say enemy list.add. New enemy. And then our enemy, as you know, takes more than two arguments. It takes three. So what are those three? It's a new texture 2D. Let me get my notes out here see what I put in there for it. So we're going to say um, enemy list.add it'll be a new enemy and then uh, content.load texture2d um, and you know what we didn't put did we put an enemy ship in? Nope. I didn't even load it yet. So what I'm going to do is um, obviously we need an image for our enemy ship and I do have one but I don't think I put it in my zip file yet, so um, before I upload these videos, I'll add it to my Dropbox zip file so that it'll be available in any of the videos that, that have the link, okay? So, uh, or like I said, you can go to opengameart.org and uh, pick your own ship out, okay? So um, I'm going to add an existing item. Uh, let's see, do I have it on this computer? Pictures... Um, uh, graphics, art. You know what? I don't think I do. 
So what we can do is, you know what? I'll tell you what, I'm going to create it real quick and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back, and uh, now I just uh, I took a, a old uh, model that, or an old 2D ship that I made a while back, or I might even have gotten it off Open Game Art, but uh, I flipped it and uh, made the background transparent and made it to a PNG. So um, obviously you can use any ship you want. We're gonna add an existing item. Now I should have it in my graphics folder here. There we go. Enemy ship. It's a little generic. I know our player ship looks way cooler, but We'll go with that for now. You can use any graphics you guys want, right? I'm just trying to kind of showing you the ropes. You got to make the game your own. So we have, uh, uh, if enemy list count is uh, less than three, then we need we're going to add more enemies to the list until there is three again. So new enemy, uh, texture 2D. We can put in now that we have our content. We can put in. It's just called enemy ship. Okay. Then it takes uh, a new position which is uh, just a new vector 2 and it'll be um, random x random y because we want it to spawn randomly right and then uh, last one is our bullet texture so we want to say uh, content dot load texture 2d and you know what man I did it again uh, let's just close this out for now Alright, I'll be right back. I'm going to make an enemy bullet. And I'm back again and I made my enemy bullet. So, and don't worry guys, I'll be adding these, this new content to my uh, zip file in my Dropbox so it'll be updated for you guys. So don't forget uh, to re-download the zip file so you have the new content. Unless you've been making your own graphics, go ahead and do that. So an existing item, I'm going to add my enemy bullet. Just made a quick uh, pixel uh, bullet here. Alright, and then we can put that in as our texture for our bullet. And I just called it enemy bullet. All right, and I think we need one more. There we go. Okay. So uh, now that we changed that, we changed uh, we changed our comment, and we need to go down here. It says if any of the asteroids in the list were destroyed or invisible, then remove them from the list. Well, if any of the enemies in the list were destroyed, so we're going to say um, we're going to iterate through the enemy list. That count. And if I say, don't forget that exclamation point. I've had a few people message me saying, I'm not seeing my bullets or anything. And it's just because they forgot the little exclamation point there. All right. So change the asteroid list to enemy list. And then asteroid list to enemy list again. Remove at I. Okay. And where did I forget something here? Load asteroids. Why did the call? What? Oh, because I didn't change the function name. Call it load enemies. Okay. <laughs> and we missed a something again. Another one, huh? Three. Okay, now we're good. I hope all that didn't confuse you guys. Basically, all we did is we, we just copied our load asteroids function, pasted it right below, and just changed it to load enemies and uh, set the enemy list and uh, changed it to three instead of five all right and we just set our texture um, we add we're adding a new enemy every time there's less than three given an enemy ship texture um, random x random y spawn location and then an enemy bullet uh, texture okay and then down here just like our uh, our asteroids it's just iterating through the list and if any of them are invisible then remove them from the list okay so after that see we're in our game one we need to go up to our draw function actually let's go up to our update function first and right under our load asteroids let's put load enemies and we're in our game one cs and we're in our update function then we want so we want to load our enemies too and then we want to go draw and do our draw function and right below of where we're, our we're drawing all our asteroids we can say for each uh, enemy E in enemy list E dot draw sprite batch so then we're drawing all our enemies as well all right and I think that's it guys it's all the changes we needed to make to our game 1.cs to make our enemies work 
All right, so quick overview. We created an enemy list in our main here. Uh, we created a bullet damage variable, which I might be moving later. So we have our enemy list. Uh, we're setting our bullet, enemy bullet damage in our constructor. Um, we went down and we made our, uh, we just copied our load asteroids uh, function or method and uh, just pasted it down here and made it a load enemies method because a lot of this stuff's just the same. You just need to change it from asteroid list to enemy list and change uh, how you added it. All right, and then we went to our update function. We called our load enemies so that we can load them. And then we went to our draw function and we said for each enemy in our list, go ahead and draw it. Okay, let's save this. Build and run. Okay, so now we have asteroids on the screen and we don't have any enemies. And why is that? Well, let's find out. All right, guys, I believe I found the problem. You know how I said I thought it was an update problem, like it's not updating anything? Well, it isn't, because we're not calling the enemy update. When we're going through our enemy list, we need to go down here and say E, update, and that's game time. Small stuff like that. When you get a lot of code going, small stuff like that that you miss. Even when, even, it's even my, on my notes and Mark to remember this. Okay, so now let's save it. And, and this is in our game1.cs in the update function. When we're looping, we're saying for each enemy in our enemy list, just make sure to put it down in here, okay? Right before the last curly brace that closes out our for each statement. All right, so let's run it. And there's our enemies. So what's happening is they're shooting the bullets right every time it hits us. We're taking damage. When we get actually hit a ship, whoa, that was a lot of damage. But we shouldn't be. We should be blasting these fools, right? And I think that bullet delay, even for them right now, is still too much. Because it's hard to even get through those. Like, when you're trying to go in front of them, like, that's... Especially when you get two together like that. So we'll have to probably increase the bullet delay even more. And it's lagging pretty hard on my screen, but when I'm not recording, it's fine. So, alright guys, this is a crap ton of time. Um, that we put recording these videos. I'll be breaking into a few sections. Um, I hope you like the video. Like I said, uh, the way the, the enemies are, like even their graphics, because I just kind of did those on the fly real quick. Um, I'll grab some better art from Open Game Art and uh, bring them in here next video. And uh, we'll work on, uh, probably not next video. Um, what should we work on next video? Um, you know what, I've been talking about fonts a lot. Let's get into fonts next, I promise this time. I won't be changing my mind, all right? And then later down the road, we can alter the way our enemies move and stuff to make things more interesting. All right, so if you guys like the video, go ahead and toss me a like. Uh, if you want to see the rest of the series and know when I'm posting them right away, go ahead and subscribe. I've had a lot of cool feedback, and I've been trying to answer questions as fast as I can. Uh, I work in IT, so I have the benefit of... Um, checking you know my my inbox on YouTube quite a bit uh, in between uh, projects at work but uh, uh, yeah so I'll see you next time guys for the font class and peace